3D done, uh, the next thing to do is we're going to add beams to the first level of the drawing. So we're going to go to the project browser and we're going to go to floor plans and we're going to double click on entry one. That puts us back in a 2D view. Um, we're going to go to the bottom left area and this is where we can, um, this is called the view control bar, all right, right down here. And what we're going, they're, they're the graphical shortcuts. So what we want to do is right now we're set to course. And that means that when we're looking at the 3D stuff, their, their detail is going to be real coarse. So they're displayed kind of rough. So what we want to do is just kick that up a little bit to medium, okay? Uh, now that we've done that, we can go off to the structural tab in the design bar, and we're going to click uh, beam, okay? In the type selector over here, we want to just make sure that um, we have the 12 by 26 is selected, and it is, okay? And we're going to go to the options bar over here and select grid. Okay. And if you remember before, what we did is in order to select the entire grid, we're going to hold the control button down and just select each line, each grid line. Um, we know it's selected because it turns red. Okay. So now all of those guys are selected and we're gonna hit finished so you notice that it just changed a little a little different of a color so I just hit zoom A to zoom in a little bit closer on it um, and you can see that it just uh, it just inserted the beams so um, we're gonna hit modify alright and jump down to our 3D views and double click on to building. That is the the view we created in the last tutorial. All right. Now you see that um, all the beams were created. We still have the columns. Those go to the roof, and these beams are created on the level one that we chose. So the next thing we're going to do is copy those on each level. 